Welcome TDC viewers, in this video I will be extracting piperine from crushed white pepper. As we might know, piperine is responsible for the pungency of pepper. Its uses are limited, however, it has been used in some forms of traditional medicine and as an insecticide. Furthermore, it is also used to prepare piperonal acetone, a precursor to MDMA. To start the extraction, we need ground white pepper. I bought mine from a local grocery store. 10% potassium hydroxide solution in 95% ethanol. 95% ethanol. And millicule water. Okay, weigh out 75 grams of crushed white pepper and place it into a suitable one neck round bottom flask. After that, add in 750 ml of 95% ethanol. Also, make sure to add in a magnetic stir bar. Okay, now set up the necessary apparatus for reflux. Turn the heating on full. Also, make sure the stirring is on. For better heat distribution, wrap some aluminium foil around the round bottom flask. Now reflux the mixture for about 5 hours. After an hour or so, we see the mixture is refluxing nicely. After 5 hours, the extraction should be complete. Turn the hot plate off and remove the aluminium foil wrapped around the round bottom flask. Allow the mixture to cool to room temperature. As we can see, the mixture has a dark yellow to orange color. After the mixture has cooled to room temperature, remove the round bottom flask from the reflux apparatus and place it on a stand. Then perform a Butner funnel filtration to remove the insoluble materials. Once the filtration is complete, transfer the clear yellow-orange filtrate into a suitable one-neck round-bottom flask. To remove most of the filtrate, add in a small amount of 95% ethanol, swirl and then transfer it into the round-bottom flask. After that, set up for simple distillation. Again, be sure to add in a magnetic stir bar. Turn the heating and stirring on. After that, distill off the ethanol at 78 degrees Celsius until the total remaining volume is about 75 ml. As we can see, the condensed ethanol is coming over at a moderate speed. After a few hours, most of the ethanol has distilled over, leaving around 75 ml of alcoholic extract. Turn the hot plate off and let the mixture cool to room temperature. As we can see, the mixture has turned quite dark. After the mixture has cooled down to room temperature, remove the apparatus and pour the contents in the round bottom flask into a suitable beaker. To 
To remove most of the extract from the round bottle flask, add in some ethanol, swirl and pour it into the beaker. Okay, after that, measure out 50ml of 10% potassium hydroxide solution in 95% ethanol and pour it into the beaker containing the extract. In a separate beaker, add 65ml of millicube water and heat the two beakers to about 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. Use a thermometer for indication. Once the desired temperature is reached, take the two beakers off the hot plate and slowly using a pipette, add drops of the warmed millicube water. Upon addition of the water, a murky white precipitate is formed and can be seen trickling down on the side of the beaker. This is our product, Pipperine. Be sure to add in all of the warmed 65ml millicube water drop-wise. Do not worry if the temperature of the beakers falls to room temperature. Just keep adding in the warmed millicube water. After the addition of the warmed millicube water, we can see a heavy precipitate of piperine in the beaker. Cool the mixture completely to room temperature. Okay, place in a magnetic stir bar into the mixture and add in 65ml of cold millicube water at once. As we can see, a large precipitate of piperine forms immediately. After the addition of the cold milky water, stir the mixture for about 30 minutes at room temperature. We can clearly see a yellow precipitate of piperine. After 30 minutes, turn the stirring off and leave the mixture to stand for several hours. After several hours, a yellow precipitate can be seen on the bottom of the beaker. Set up for filtration of the mixture containing the piperine precipitate. Unfortunately, some of the piperine precipitate goes through the filter paper due to the fine particles. Just repeat the filtration until the filtrate is clear, or put two filter papers together and repeat the filtration. Anyways, vacuum dry the yellow piperine powder or air dry it. Scrape the piperine powder into a suitable beaker. In this step, we will be recrystallizing the piperine powder using acetone. Place the beaker containing the piperine powder on a hot plate and switch the heating on. To this add in a small amount of acetone and stir the mixture. After a short while, the acetone boils and all of the piperine powder will dissolve. Once the piperine has dissolved in the hot acetone solution, remove it from the hot plate and allow it to cool to room temperature.
Once the acetone solution has evaporated, we observe beautiful dendritic like crystals of pure piperine. By observing this recrystallization procedure, we can confirm that the initial extract of piperine was pure and recrystallization is not desperately needed. Crush the piperine crystals and air dry it. After that, add the pure piperine to a storage container. The piperine is a bit wet, but that's okay. The yield is around a gram with a melting point of 128 degrees Celsius. The actual yield should be around 3 grams and this yield loss is likely from the initial filtration step where fine particles of piperine pass through the filter paper. Nevertheless, TDC viewers, we have successfully extracted piperine from crushed white pepper.